Hello everyone, welcome back to the show. Today we're checking out the Motorola Zoom. Now this is the most anticipated new tech on the market and uh, has honeycomb installed and front and rear uh, cameras. It's a little bit thinner, but uh, you take a closer look, you decide. We need more people science. We're always good at the rocket science, which was the engineering. People science are the problems and the pain points that exist out there today. When you bring the people science and it meets the rocket science, that's when the magic happens. That's when you get devices like the tablet. What people are looking for, in, in a very basic sense, they're looking for ability to communicate. I want to be connected to the internet all the time. They're looking for information or infotainment. I just wish I could rip my HD screen off the wall. They're effectively looking to do these things in a better way. There were some pain points that were coming up over and over again, and we thought, this is an opportunity to solve those. And if we're not going to do it, someone else will. So we did. We didn't want to just do a tablet to do a tablet. We wanted to do the right tablet, do the best tablet. No one does it all by themselves. Many people have completely different skill sets that when grouped together, produces incredible things. You can make a tablet, but if the way the software works, the experience is, is not optimized for a tablet, then you feel like you got a smartphone, but it just doesn't fit in my pocket anymore. What Google is great at is developing software. They said, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna think about what a tablet software experience should look like and feel like and that's Honeycomb. And then when you add Adobe in, and the fact that they provide an internet experience that is exactly like the internet experience you have at home, that's the magic. This is the first device that has the new Android release that's optimized for tablets. So the perfect release of software for tablets with the hardware. It's giving them a bigger screen to do more with. You have the horsepower of two gigahertz processing capacity. We make sure we put the right level of battery performance in this device. It connects to the cellular 3G network and it's 4G capable as well. You can be IMing your friend, you can be sending an email, you can be looking at your calendar for next week and figuring out what you need to do all at the same time. One simple black sheet of glass until that display is illuminated. And when that display is illuminated, you get to see exactly what's important to you. Typically, we are tasked with things that are impossible. We call them mission impossible. So this is one of our mission impossibles to work on something that truly redefines the way that people actually end up using these things. We have no neutral mode. It's fast forward, fast forward, and fast forward. That is in our DNA, and it is in the way we design, and it is in the way that we build devices. You get the engineers and the scientists to actually figure out how to do this stuff, and often they'll come back with something even better than what you imagined. And that's what we set out to do. As you can see, the Moto Zoom is a fantastic product, has some great technology, and really will be an iPad. Uh, I don't think it'll be a killer, but it'll definitely take uh, it to the next level in competition. This is Aaron Herman. Thanks for watching.